Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, algebraic expressions. And for this lesson, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic fractions. So we want to see how that can be done. And of course, we have some few questions we are going to go through to help us illustrate on how we can simplify algebraic fractions. And of course, at the end of this lesson, we'll be able to give you some assignment just to help you practice and just to help you check on your understanding of this topic as discussed through this lesson. So look at this example number one. You see it is an algebraic, it is an algebraic expression that is involving algebraic fractions. You want to see how this can be solved. So when you want to solve such an expression, how do you go about it? So we have about two methods. There are many methods that you can use. So I'm going to show you two. Two approaches. So let me call the first approach case one. So this case one, I'm going to find the LCM of these denominators. So the LCM here is going to be 20. So what you're going to do is that you're going to divide the LCM by each denominator and the result is going to multiply the numerator. You see, for example, 20 divided by two 20 divided by 2 is 10. So this is going to be 10 into x minus 1. You see, plus 20 divided by 4 is 5. So 5 into x plus 2. And then plus 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 4 by x is 4x. Then now you open up the bracket. So 10 by, so as you open the bracket, this is something that you have discussed in, in one of our previous lessons. You can possibly check from our previous videos how that is supposed to be done. So the number outside the bracket multiplies both terms inside the bracket. So 10 by x is 10x, 10 by 1 is 10, and 5 by, so this is plus, 5 by x is 5x, 5, 5 by 2 is 10, and of course plus. 4x and everything here is divided by by 20. So you can collect the like terms like I can see 10x, 5x and 4x. So let's collect them together. So we have 10x plus 5x plus 4x and then we have minus 10 plus 10. So I'll start with plus 10 plus 10 minus 10 and everything here is divided by 20. So 20, 10 minus 10, that is 0. So we have 10 plus 5 plus 4, that is 19. So that is 19x divided by 20, because 10 minus 10, that is already 0. So this is the simplest form of that uh, algebraic fraction. So you can't simplify it further than that. So case 2. This is basically an alternative approach. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify these two terms first. Because when there are two terms, you can use this cross multiplication approach where you multiply that and you multiply this and you multiply this. The rule is you have to start with uh, this diagonal here. So that means I have four into x minus one plus 2 into x plus 2. This is plus and divided by, you have to multiply the denominators as well. So that is going to be 2 by two by 4. And of course, after that, you remember to add this other one. So x over 5. So we continue, we open up the bracket. So we have 4x minus 4 plus 2x, plus 4. Everything here is divided by 8, plus x over 5. So here you see 4 will cancel 4, because minus 4 minus 4 is 0. Then I have now 4x, plus 2x, that is going to be 6x. So 6x over 8 plus x over 
5. So maybe you can simplify this further. Even without simplifying, you can just cross multiply again because now there are two. When there are two, you can use that cross multiplication approach where 5 multiply 6 to give us 30x and 8 multiply x multiplies x to give us 8x. And you multiply down here 5 by 8 to give us 40. So that is going to be 38x over 40, which equals to 19x over 20, as we had gotten in the previous case. So either of the approaches can be used to help us arrive at the final answer. So let's see this one again. So one, let me use the first approach. Case one where I'm using LCM, these numbers are co-prime. There is no any other factor other than one that can divide both. So LCM of these two is just a product of these two. So A by B, so the LCM is AB. So uh, AB here divided by B. So we have AB divided by B, B cancels B, and then you have A. So AB divided by B is A, and A by A is A. So don't, you multiply by the whole of this numerator. So it is A into A plus B minus, again, AB divided by A. So AB divided by A is B. So we have B into B minus A. So again, you open up that bracket. So the numbers or the letters outside the bracket will multiply all the terms inside the bracket. So we have A squared plus AB minus b squared. So b by b again is b squared. But now because there's a minus sign before the bracket, the sign inside the bracket will change to plus. Every time there is a minus sign before bracket, the sign inside the bracket changes to the other sign. If it is plus, it goes to minus. If it's minus, it goes to plus. So b by a is again a b. And then of course this is divided by a b. So how do you proceed from here? So we try collect like terms. So we try to collect the like terms here. So the like terms, we only have AB and AB. So we have A squared minus B squared plus AB plus AB divided by AB. So this is going to give us A squared minus B squared plus 2AB, everything divided by AB. So that is the simplest form of that fraction. So case two, we will multiply this first, then we multiply that, then we multiply these two. So start with A into A plus B minus B into B minus A. Everything is divided, divided by A times B is AB. So again, you open up the brackets. So we have A squared. Remember the number, the letter outside the bracket multiplies both letters inside the bracket. So plus AB minus B squared again, because there is a minus sign before the bracket, the sign inside the bracket will change to plus. So plus AB again, and again over AB. So again, we'll collect the like terms. We have AB and AB, we'll collect them together. Both of them are pluses, so you just collect them. So you start with A squared minus B squared plus AB plus AB, they are both pluses. So everything is divided by AB. So we have A squared minus B squared plus 2AB divided by AB. So that is the simplest form of that expression again. So aid of the approaches can be used to still lead us to the same point, depending on which one you find easier. So finally, we have this. Here now I'll use the LCM approach. So I'll try to find the LCM of all these. So I'll start. I'll begin with the numbers. The LCM of 3, 8, and 12 is 24. Then now, all the letters like this A, A plus B, and A plus B, the LCM here will be A into A plus B. A into A plus B. The sense that when you divide A into A plus B by A plus B, you get A. When you divide A into A plus B by A plus B, you still get A. When you divide a into A plus B by A, you still get A plus B. So this is the LCM of all this. I remember I started with the numbers. Then now the letters. So A plus B, A plus B, that is the same thing. So it's just a matter of finding the LCM 
of a plus b and a, which is just the product of the two. A times a plus b. So 3 goes into 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So you're supposed to multiply 8 by 1 there. And uh, this a plus b divides this how many times? So we have a into a plus b. So a into a plus b divided by a plus b. So you see this cancels that. So if you divide our LCM by this, what you are getting is, is a. So it's going to be 8a. Because you multiply 8 by 1 before you multiply by, you see, by the letter there. Again, whatever answer you get, you're going to multiply by 3. So start with the number first. So 8, so 24 divided by 8 is 3. 3 by 3 is 9. So I'm starting with that 9. So start with 9. And now a plus a into a plus b divided by now this expression here. So a into a plus b divided by a plus b will still get a. So this is 9a. Now plus 12. We start with the number. So 12 divides 24 how many times? Twice. 2 by 5 is, is 10 into now, LCM is A into A plus B. Of course, we have divided the, the 24. So, A into A plus B divided by A. So, A into A plus B divided by A. It is A that will go. So, the answer will be A plus B. You see. So, you can open up the brackets in the numerator. So, uh, 8A plus 9A, that is 17A. And then you open up this bracket, so this is going to be plus 10a plus 10b divided by 24, 24a into a plus b. So we have again like terms here, so we have 17a plus 10a, that is 27a, and then plus 10b divided by 24a into a plus b so into a plus b so that is uh, how you go about it so you have that as the final final answer 27a plus 10b divided by 24a into a plus b as the correct answer so for this the best approach is to use the LCM. Again, you try to, to gauge the, you look at the question that you're having, that will guide you onto the right method to be used. You know, you try to find the, the easiest way to arrive at your destination. The fastest you reach your destination, the better. So we learn the two of them. You look at the question, which, which, which approach would be more appropriate, you know. That is what you, you follow. So that is all. We have a few questions here to help you practice and just to help you get your new understanding of the concept. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.